Welcome back to the Hearthstone Battlegrounds. Uh, is it day two, day three? I don't know. I think it's day two of the challenge. It's my first part. Um, and uh, we're playing on my account also because it's me playing. And then we'll see what we can do. We'll see who, what kind of hero we can get. And um, if we can get a good ranking here, that would be uh, that would be nice. Put a put a good put first good first step. That would be appreciated. Let's see if we can get some. Well, you found a worthy opponent. The, yeah, I did. So I, I'll, I think Bartender Turn is clear pick here. Seems uh, seems a bit more of a consistent choice. Putricide, the hero Putricide power. is nice with like Cave Hydra and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, and like Four Reaper. Yeah, that's true. And uh, something just fell off the the monitor, which is not a problem. J JJ hangs his headphone cords over his monitor. I don't know why he does it though. That's just the most sensible place to put them. Put them in your ears. Well, but I don't <laughs> need them right now. That's true. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, if you hadn't noticed, right? Yeah. While we do record the sound of of the gameplay, mm -hmm. we don't actually hear it during the record. No, we don't. We don't hear the in-game sound. At, At least not for Hearthstone. We yeah. do for, for the games when we, when we have games. Yeah, but in Hearthstone, there is no extra information really to be gained except for Bob's pep talk. So yeah, don't need none. See what we can get. Is it just me or is there always one person? It seems that's like just a lot of time. It seems like a lot of time. Maybe it's a bug or something that just happens that way. I don't know. No one I know playing. Has that ever happened to you so far? That the, someone you knew was also playing? Uh, no. Well, I mean, I've, I've had it that people my friends were also mm -hmm. playing, but I've never queued into it. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take Micro Machine here. See what we can do. With Bartender Tron, we can level 2, Tavern rank 5 relatively quickly, maybe pick up a Junk Pop before anyone else can. So I think that's the strategy. And my Micro Machine in, in 2 3 games can somewhat, somewhat hold his own. Hopefully, obviously, we'll get AFK matched in. I do quite like Micro Machine because of how it grows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, you are getting matched right now against uh, Patchwork. Yes. Well, yeah, it's Patchwork. Stitches, right? Patchwork, yeah. I, ne I, I can never remember which one Stitches. it is. Stitches. It's Stitches to me. I don't care. <laughs> I don't even know why Patchwork in this one. It's Red. Stitches. Doesn't matter. It's an abomination. It is an abomination, yes. yes. With nothing. Hope. Which means he was very likely the player who was um, Maybe. AFK and didn't choose his hero. Perhaps. He got a pretty good hero for not not choosing. No mech, so I'll upgrade this and, and roll once. And uh, that's and two mechs. Yeah, I'm gonna freeze this. I'm gonna pick the harvest golem. I think. We got Gallywax who hasn't been doing well so far. That's good. It's a good matchup. If you if you upgrade on two and manage to not lose your first two turns, you're probably usually doing fine. Because the risk of upgrading two is obviously you fall behind in the early game and then. You really don't catch up before you kind of hit your your big boys. You're already you're already down to too little health, and you just lose. And if we can avoid that, we're probably we're probably in a good spot. Let's see what we can see what we can do here. We have a fairy in 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 the, in the Rat King, so we got to be a bit careful of that. We have very generally very strong lineup of heroes here. There's there's not a lot of weak spots here. Gallywax is not so strong. I think Ragnaros might fall off, but. <clears throat> And the Farian is pretty good against the whole divine yeah. shield thing, but his hero part is pretty useless otherwise. Um, Let me take this. I'm gonna roll. See if we can. Uh... Yeah, I'm probably gonna upgrade next turn anyway. I think. But that oh, doesn't I, I necessarily this, preclude though. you from yeah. freezing. I kind of want this, so I will do that. You could totally mm. upgrade and refreeze if you really wanted to. Yeah, we'll, and we'll then see. I, I'm trying to remember. Usually, if... turn six is you should get two minions, right? I'll see. And also, if Ragnaros uses his hero power, you're relatively yeah, screwed. Yeah, that, that's true. Well, we'll let him throw the game. Yeah, I was about to say, it's not really... I think yeah, for... Sure, I think for, he would've probably done better unless uh, that was his last two mana to just buy some more stuff. Maybe. But, you know. That's that's okay. It's unfortunate to go against uh, Ragnaros or Patches in like the very first couple games. But later on, it's, it's, it's kind of fine. Right. I think I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna get two things here, and uh, an upgrade next turn. That makes sense to me. This is not gonna buff anything, but it's a mech itself, so we'll have it that way. And uh, this looks like a pretty good line. I think we can beat stuff. Uh, yeah, he he might be AFK honestly because he hasn't played anything and he's got he's taken more and more damage every time. So. He's a tavern tier two. He's a tavern tier two. Oh, he is. Yeah, maybe he. Hmm, that's weird. So he didn't do anything on one upgrade on two. So he, he probably doesn't have much, so either way we should probably win this. But he definitely didn't do absolutely nothing, no. so there's yeah, that. Definitely sure. have to upgrade next turn though. Upgrade and we pick something. You're doing great out there. 
Yeah. A couple things, but... The Overseer Super. doesn't really go with anything else yeah. that he has. He's picked random stuff. He might have been AFK for the first two turns or something. Like, I, I, I still wonder if uh, if there's an AI that takes over at some point if a player is AFK. I don't think so. I think you just lose. You do, do nothing. I'll definitely upgrade. Do I take the spot? I think I roll. And take the Replicating Menace. Most likely probably to end up keeping Harvest Golem, so I'll put it on him. The nice thing about uh, both Harvest Golem and Replicating Menace, of course, is that once you get the Junk Bot, there's just a lot of max time. Also, um, Cobalt Guardian goes well with that, because you get the, the summons and they probably yep. divine shields and stuff. Stuff goes well together. At this point, I'm still gonna probably leave Micro Machine first. Against Rat King. Well, I mean, Micro Machine or Harvest Golem doesn't make a big difference. But, I mean, there's no no Taunt Divine Shields yet, I think, so I'm not going to put the smallest attack first. Just yet. Maybe in a couple of turns. But right now, I'll leave it like this. You know, I mean, that's why I was saying, like, they both have... Oh, great. The, there's no Taunt Divine Shields first. Great. Awesome. Well, I mean, there are two stars. Famous last words, yeah. Didn't really, didn't really expect that one, of course. I think you're still at the very least time. Yeah, but so you know you're now winning. we're winning. There's one more minion. Yep. That's that's kind of the importance there of... Uh, three points of... No, four points of damage, because you're already at turn tier three. Turn tier three. That's a good thing about a bartender, because you get up there quickly. Like, financially speaking, you could upgrade again, but I don't think you I want could, to. I could, but I want, kind of want Amalgam here. Yeah, I was about to say, I, I think there's very few situations where you don't yeah. take Amalgam. Amalgam's pretty good. I think you'll have to. I never actually, uh, I never actually picked Curator ever. We've played Curator before. It's a uh, you gotta find stuff to support it. Um, if you don't, it's kind of uh, I don't know. Okay, we have Ragnaros again. I'm gonna just because I just seen it. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put one first. Um, this one, yeah, put the Harvest Golem a bit further back. Yeah, putting the Harvest Golem further back makes sense because of the Death Rattle. You want as much board space when it dies as possible to get the maximum effect out of that. Exactly. Next turn we'll probably upgrade and roll once, pick a minion maybe. But we're trying to get to 5 relatively uh, relatively promptly. Maybe pick up some uh, some magnets on the way and then find a jump. Ball. Yeah, it, it's awesome. either getting to tier 5 or getting to 4 and um, getting a triple, yeah. but that doesn't seem to be in the cards right of, now. A lot of Death Rattles here. That's a pretty strong lineup. Yeah, no Baron Riven there. Not yet. Yet. No. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's gonna be. Well, to be fair, Baron Riven there isn't very good with all the summoning death rattles either. Yeah, no, because of you, the board fill up too much. It's better with like uh, with like Wolf. What's it called? The the big Wolf. Oh yeah. Four, the, four? Yeah, I know what you're <laughs> talking yeah. about. Big wolf. The one that gives plus four plus four to all of your beasts. Yeah. Or spawn them off even as a lighter form of that. One of the Nazoth uh, is a lot more flexible for sure. Yeah, Loki underrated, underrated card by the way. We'll upgrade. We'll roll. I've picked it before. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's, it's they both sense nice. Or Shredder. They're both nice. Yeah. They're both good. Yeah. I think because most of the mechs I will eventually sell anyway. I'll take Shredder because it adds more stats immediately, and I want to get there soon. I could. Yeah, I could upgrade next to it. Sensei is one of those annoying things where you just. Play it, you yeah. get two or three procs of it, and you're like, ah, oh, two, two, I can't keep it. Exactly. And you it's just not, sell it you way get, too soon. Gotta get rid of it somehow. Yeah. Playing Rat King again, who had the, uh, oh, he had all sorts of the Tondo and Shields, right? Uh, yeah, well, if you had the two annoying trunks. I'm gonna put it like this then. See if it does better. Solid lineup, solid mech lineup so far. If, if someone has a serious energy going already, they might be able to beat this quickly, but. We'll see. AFK doing well. I mean, Little you point. are winning a lot of your matchups. Oh, he got his third uh, Anoyatron. Yes. So that's a big taunt. That's a dead taunt is what that yeah. is. That, that's the important part. So what's, what's the matchup here? Hydra hopefully does not get to attack again. Mm. Oh, he does, doesn't he? Yeah, against a single thing. Yeah. Which okay, it's really actually, actually, it's fine. That was a good. That was a good drop, by the way. That that um that uh, Morlock was good. Yeah, they end up having the perfect stats yeah. for what you needed. Nothing that's really. I'm just upgrading. I'm just upgrading. I'm one. I want. Yeah, want that makes sense. I want the bot. This is a second amalgam, though. I might have to. I might have to. Find and a second. Uh, what's his face? Psychotron. Not Psychotron. Psychotron. That Maybe. that one. Definitely take the amalgam. If you get a triple amalgam, that's that's fire. So far, we did. We don't have a pair yet. But. 
We'll see. Got Gallywax coming up. Who kind of fought his way up a little bit. He was bad. He was doing badly in the beginning. But we are, we're in a good spot. You see the bottom four are kind of losing a lot. And I like the fact that both Nefarian and Jiraxes are in there. So those are strong heroes that are kind of losing. Uh, yeah. Jiraxes is very inconsistent. Um, Jiraxes, if you get demons? You really have to get good stuff with well, him. Yeah. To be fair, Jiraxes might not be losing at all. He might just have a lot of demons. That's true. Going on. He might have an insane lineup. Jiraxis, uh yeah, Nefarian, it's like, you never, he's, he's not that good if you specifically don't have a lot of Divine Shields. Well, he, he might still be good, but not against yeah. you then, is what I'm say, trying to say here. See what see what we can do. Got a gallery. I think we're, we're in a pretty good spot so far. We have to find some, some juice. Oh, there's That's a, a lot of Morlocks. That's a pretty good lineup. And a crowd favorite. If he picks up, if he ever picks up the, um... The uh, <laughs> Thrashadon, <laughs> he might win the whole thing. Yeah, because that's crazy. Murloc has a lot of high roll stuff though. Oh, yeah. If he gets like adapt all poisonous, that's a win. That's just an immediate win, I think. Murlocs without that, though, Murlocs kind of cap out at the sort of spot unless you can like uh, like cycle uh, seers the whole time, but that's also sort sort of rare. So we'll definitely take an amalgam. I'm not gonna take this. I'm gonna take just chances to roll for amalgams and this one, of course. And hopefully, uh, hopefully, junk bots. Don't want the menace. Oh, another menace. Well, you don't have the coin to do it. Get it right. Yeah, I'm gonna sell something anyway. I'm just saying. Um, this one. Definitely that one. Yeah. Has to go on here. Mm, that's another menace. Good. Not without junk bot. Not yet. If you want, you could also just get something like Overseer or... <laughs> well, now you can't, but... No, I'll, I'll take it like this, and I'll, I'll play I'll play this one. Probably over there. And just sit sit like this for now. Hope the summons help. Now you're kind of really gambling on getting the third one, though. Yeah, third By amalgam, playing yeah. the second one, because the second amalgam is mm -hmm. never that good. But if, I, if I can't get the third one, I'll just sell this one off, and if I need, if I need to play something else. Also, you're uh, facing number eight, Ragnaros. The Fire Lord. Who's not doing so fine? So that's... That's what I was saying, he's number eight, so... That's good, that's good. We, we, like, we like to see that. So we've played him before, and... See what he's, see what he's bringing. Yeah, it's, it's kind of... It's, it's a very basic, basic mech lineup, so not, not, not too much happened there. I think we should be able to do this. Yeah, he's bringing a lot of doubles of what you have, meaning that once he's dead, your pool is gonna leave a little more. Do they work. actually go back into the pool? Yes. I have suspicion to believe that they don't. Uh, well, the developer said that they do. Has it ever so, been confirmed officially? Yes, that was posted on Reddit by I want to say Mike Donalus. I'm right. not sure. Um, but yeah, that was definitely sick. All right, then I'm gonna. I'm now gonna go. there's always. The possibility that like the the game designer that said it didn't know what like yeah, the actual no implementation clue. practically ended up Gotta being like because sometimes things aren't the way you yeah. originally drew, drew them up or something. So what do we sell? Maybe this. I mean, Zubat is only the weakest you have. Well, stat wise, the weakest is Amalgam, but Zubat is I would argue significantly weaker than Amalgam, yeah. like generally speaking. This is pretty good. I mean, you can easily get it by selling the I'll, Sensei. I'll do it. Still no, no junk pot, but we'll pop this one up. Any Toxin on it, though, still. No, I think, I think, yeah. Maybe here, even. Got Gallywax, who was doing pretty well. Previously. Yes. This one's sometimes not even bad. Yeah, also, the Seer isn't horrible, but it's not really good enough to freeze yeah, by no, any stretch no, of the imagination. So. No, but like, if you had, if you were rotating a slot anyways, you then, could totally then, play the yeah, Seer for four total health. So he's doing pretty, he's doing pretty well for himself. Hope that it's the other turn. <laughs> bad hit. <laughs> That's actually not bad. Yeah, Kagra's pretty good, actually. It does mean you're Is not- Is there enough stats? What is, if Harvest Golem deals a full? No. Could still be enough. Yeah, it is, yeah. It is, nice. Alright, that was good. That was actually a good cat guard. R slash Crimean Caviar. Not a subreddit, but it should be. 
Well, do is you it, know for a fact that it ain't? No, no, I, that, that's <laughs> that's that's not true. I don't, I don't for sure know that it's not. So I can't say that. Take the sensei, buff the amalgam more. Still need my um, uh, my toxin. Is this har harvest golem? Is that worth upgrading at all? I don't know. I don't think so. Not now. That's toxin though. That's good. And I might freeze this later. Well, first of all, what do you sell? One. Sell the second one, okay. And then you obviously, yeah. I... Well, I think I'll play the toxin first. I'm not... We'll see what. We'll... Yeah, it doesn't matter. I think. You can still then buy and sell, uh, buy and the security rover yeah. and roll once if you sell the sensei exactly. I freeze it for cobalt. Cobalt. I was about to say he's not. He's not a cobalt. Yeah. He's not a cobalt. Cobalt the Guardian would also be cool, but he's gonna be he's gonna be doing pretty good with this. Cobalt Guardian, that's an, that, that would be an interesting. Yeah, card. probably thing. We're still leading, by the way. And I have pretty good. I got a pretty good uh, hopes for making top four. So that's that's something. If we don't find Jackpot, we're not gonna go much further. I mean, I would expect to make top four because yeah. there's a very good chance that either Drax or AFK leave this very round. And this lineup is not is not very bad. Though. This is this is a good lineup. But what we currently have, we'll have a tough time beating this. Well, yeah, Poisonous does take care of a lot of stuff, though. You're not gonna die this round, though, which means that, yeah, that that's true. top 5 is up virtually the, up guaranteed. the poison eats off everything until the taunt, then we actually... Then we do actually win. Because he still lives. Yeah, he, we should be able to do that. Because we get one more proc off the security rover, so we win still. Yeah, that, I mean, you win without the security rover or two, but yeah. That's good against racking. I definitely do like that. That was important. Let's put a bit of distance in there. Alright, the top five left, so someone's out. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's like, good. it's almost guaranteed to get top five at this point. Take Cobalt Guardian. Going to six almost makes very little sense for, for Max, I think. Like, if we get a triple, we'll take we'll take one of them, but one of the, the special ones, but other than that, almost not that important. I think I think now we uh, we start buffing a little bit. Well, I mean, the shredder is definitely also one of the weaker things here because it's this one. not guaranteed to give you a mech. Exactly. The robo, I, I don't know. I don't like the the egg as much as people do somehow. I mean, the egg also needs some buffs to really shine. Yeah. Can't attack. It's not that not that not that awesome. Still haven't found a junk pot. Someone's playing mech and has like six junk pots. It's crazy. Yeah, that's. Possible. I hope we don't run into it. Might be Nefarian. Or you were just unlucky because there's not a lot of yeah. the five stars around. We have played Nefarian just Also, yet. I personally wouldn't have put the Cobalt Guardian all the way to the left because he's likely going to die before it gets the first Divine Shield, but you know. Yeah, usually it goes there when it has Divine Shield, but wow, look at this lineup. Wow, dude. That's crazy. I mean, that's an insane... Yeah, he definitely dude. profited. Wow. I mean, he might have profited off of you uh, selling the Psychotron. He might, that might be yours. That might be one of his, maybe. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's not guaranteed. Yeah. Yeah. If they were gold, yeah. I would be like, yeah, definitely. But Everything has divine shields, too. That's crazy. So we definitely don't want to run into him again if we want to make top four. We can next turn, so that's that's okay. But yeah, this is this is a no-no. This is not good. I mean, you're very likely making top four. I would assume that Gallywax or AFK die should this die turn. before me, yeah. And you're not gonna die this turn, very, so... Very, very bad order, order there still, but someone should definitely die this far, isn't it? Yep, yeah, guaranteed top are. four. Maybe you can make, maybe make top three or something. How's it going out there? It's just gonna come down to rolling now. I don't rolling, like what we're rolling, rolling. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think so. Go ahead and hire one of these recruits. Can we get one? Somewhere. This is also interesting sometimes. Do we play this? I don't know, do you? How good is this micro machine? What do we take out though? Eh. I might. I I'm gonna do it. Um I still want obviously want junk, but there's, there's a third amount of actually. Yeah, well, I think I'll have to get that. So this is micro machine now, it's not that good anyway. Play this amalgam. I mean, you basically just gave your amalgam plus three plus four and uh, the discover, of course. Kanger's Apprentice is probably the most fitting one for what you're doing. I'll take it though, it's not great either. I never claimed it was. I just said it's the yeah. best one for what you're doing. I'm gonna take it. Then, 
then this should go here. Right. Let's see what we got here. Alright. Let's go up beast synergy. Whew. That yes. poison is very late for us. That's not good. That's bad. We might be dead. If this goes badly, we're definitely dead. I mean, Mike Slime is gonna attack next. Yeah. Well, after. Yeah, which is gonna kill your poison. So. That is type stats probably he's got on these guys, man. that was probably your best shot to kill his taunts. So yeah, yeah. That's also not... the apprentice didn't do shit because of all the stuff. Yeah, yeah, no, this is over. So top four again. If if Gallywax dies, which he could against the fair, we should make three, right? Yeah, uh, you think so? Yes. I'm not sure how that works, by the way. Does it, is it like who has the lower amount of health at the end, or is it just the previous ranking maintained? I would assume previous rank. Yeah, so previous ranking got maintained, so we made third. I, I also assume that that's how it works. So third place is fine. Got got some rating points. We'll take it. With bartender, it's sort of a. I usually go. You usually go for mech with bartender anyway because you get to five really quickly. But in this case, we we have to roll like twenty five times without seeing a single jump bot. And if we get one, we have a chance to compete with this and the other one maybe. But yeah, the the fines were rather suboptimal. So, but that's yeah. That's my that's my first um step forward. Thing was pretty good. Still improvable, but if I consistently make third place, I think my stats are going to be pretty good at the end because you keep getting ready. So next time, it's going to be Jada's turn again um, on his account, see what we can do. But to thank you for watching this video, drop a like on it. And if you have any critique, uh, let it know, let us know in the, in the comments, man. If you got anything uh, to improve, I'll be I'll be happy to, to hear and read about that. And uh, maybe it'll help me out a little bit. But uh, as for now... Uh, go join our Discord server, link in the description, by the way, you can talk to us directly there. Uh, if you don't want to do the whole commenting thing, you can do both too, I don't know, but the Discord is usually faster uh, for responses. So uh, go join that and you can talk to the, the community and us uh, directly, which is cool. And uh, until the next video, JJ. That's it. That's it.